I don't know anybody here under the sound of my voice that you, you know let me back up you only have faith for what you know but it says you you can't have faith for what's not revealed to you you can believe it but until it's revealed it's not a faith Do that make sense to you and so I don't know anybody here under the sound of my voice who has believed God and is still believing God for something to manifest in any particular realm that hasn't happened yet. How many of you here have had this experience where you believed for things and it didn't happen? Has religion made you that dishonest? That's everybody here under the sound of my voice. You have what you have revelation of. And when you quit growing, you, wow, Enamashai. When you quit growing, or you believe you've reached the pace of your faith slows down because for you to say if you've reached that's arrogance it is a continual revelation that keeps your faith active that keeps it progressive so you know what you have to think so the mindset of every believer is what you don't have today, don't worry, it can happen tomorrow. And if it doesn't happen then, the more light you get, it's going to come. Does that make sense? So don't become discouraged. How am I going to be able to stand this? He's going to enable you. He will enable us, and sometimes it's a day at a time. And somebody may say, well, how do you stand this one day at a time? How do we live one day at a time? The just you live by faith, how one day at a time? And sometimes we get lots of hopes, and we can see the future gets brighter. And yet oftentimes, in those dark times, it's one day at a time. We learn more in the darkness, but we're always moving toward the light. You see, that's why you and I don't ever have to give up. If God has said, here's what I'm going to do, you can rest your eternal life on the fact that God, in all of His sovereign power, everything in heaven is behind the promise of God. He will make it a living reality no matter what. You cannot stop God. When God says, here's what I'm going to do. Now, a conditional promise is, here's what I'll do if you do thus and so. But when God says, here's what I'm going to do, there's no question about it. That is an unconditional promise of God that cannot be conditioned or altered by anything. And I could give you a number of very personal experiences when God says, here's what I'm going to do. It was totally irrational to me, didn't fit anything. It was a struggle for me, a big battle for me to believe what I'd heard. But I'll never forget getting in the prayer room one day when I was really struggling about something. It's like the Lord said to me now, are you going to believe what you see, what you feel, what you hear, or what I said? And when I finally could come to the conclusion to say, God, I'm going to believe what you said, I can remember all hell broke loose. Everything around me said, you can't believe it. What I heard, what I saw, what I felt. It's like the Lord would say to me, you going to believe what I said? Are you going to believe what you feel, what you see, what you hear? That's why we must learn to listen to God and not question the Word of the Father. He will do what He promised to do. And you know what? That means that no matter what's going on, how much darkness we walk through, there's always light. Always light out there somewhere, God will bring us through all of them.